Welcome to our third Advent worship service. And as most of you know, it's a very quiet evening, a time to focus on being still and knowing that God is God. We will not have an Advent service next week. However, we will have a Blue Christmas service on Monday at 6 o'clock. And it's a time for us to come together not only to celebrate Christmas, but to also honor the fact that for some people, they're facing loss that brings a need for comfort. So that is what we hope we can do, is honor those that have gone before us and appreciate the fact that we can be together as brothers and sisters in Christ. So tonight, we come together with hope hoping that we can stay safe and healthy. And if it's possible to leave your mask on, we have preferred that you do that, but if you can't, we understand. And we'll have three Christmas Eve services, and then we will have a Christmas Day service. The Christmas Day service will be at 9.30 on Christmas Day, so we hope you can join us for all of those. So we continue to be quiet and peaceful as we wait upon the Lord and listen to our beautiful selection of Wait for the Lord. strong. 
We continue our worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 146. This is a hymn praising God for his help. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Our gospel reading tonight is from Luke, the first chapter. It's where the birth of Jesus is foretold. It's the Annunciation. And the Magnificat is found in Luke, and it's based largely on Hannah's prayer as found in 1 Samuel, chapter 2. Hannah's prayer was a prayer about God giving her the privilege of giving birth to the child Samuel in her later years. When it seemed she was beyond her child-bearing time of life. So listen now as we wait upon the Lord this Advent season, the birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. 
and next Mary visits Elizabeth. At the time Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judah where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice with the Holy Spirit, in a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored? that the mother of my Lord should come to me. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished. And next, we hear about Mary's song. And Mary said, My soul praises the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has filled up and lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, even as he said to our fathers. This is the gospel of our Lord and Jesus, Savior Jesus Christ. And tonight we contemplate those words. We've heard these words many times before, but every time we hear them, we're different. And I hope tonight when you leave here, after you've been in the quiet sanctuary, that you feel the presence of Jesus Christ in your life as you go out into the world and share that presence. So now I ask you, as I have before, to get comfortable, make sure your cell phones are off, uncross your legs, breathe, Relax, and for five minutes, we will sit in quiet meditation, listening to God as we are still.
Now, let us contemplate the words of the prayer that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this precious day that you have given us. And we pray for those who have been taken from this earth, especially now during this time of the pandemic. Be with their families who mourn their loss. Be with the families of those who cannot be with their loved ones. Be with those who have to be in quarantine. We know that each day is a gift from you, Lord. And we would ask that you be merciful, that you bring miracles into our world as we wait as we wait for the vaccine, as we rejoice in the fact that it is happening. Bring peace into our world, especially at this time of such political unrest. Help us to be grateful for what you have given us and not long for things that are not to be. Help us to turn it all over to you, Lord, to accept what is and to find peace and rest in our souls. And as we come before you in silence tonight, help us to learn to appreciate the silence. Help us to be willing to share with others when we feel sad, when we feel alone, when we feel that we don't know the answers. Help us to accept who we are in the midst of the darkness. And help us as we wait upon the Lord during this Advent season to trust to be filled with joy, to be hopeful, so that we can continue, continue to enjoy each day finding the lessons on our pilgrim, pilgrimage so that we can grow stronger spiritually in you. So Lord, we turn it all over to you now. We turn it all over to you as we wait upon you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
We ask that, Lord God, Jesus Christ, give us our peace as we go out from here with our souls at rest, that we would have a night that we can be refreshed and wake up and greet a new day tomorrow with hope and joy in our heart. May you go out from here feeling blessed to be a blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.